Alrighty, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another American Reacts. And yes, I'm pumped up because we're back at Bathurst. You know I love Bathurst and Mount Panorama. It's always, always good. And this may be a little backwards because I've done a lot of content uh, at Bathurst. And I have loved everything I've seen. Maybe I should have done the beginning, but, you know, better late than never. Tons, tons, tons of recommendations for this is Mount Panorama. This is Bathurst. This is presented by Mark Larkham, I think. Yes, it is. And yeah, this has been a long time coming, so that's waste no more time. Let's get straight to it. This probably will get copyrighted, so come on, throw me a like and maybe take a look at that tip jar in the description. But otherwise, thank you for being here. Either way, let's go. This is Mount Panorama. This is Bathurst. Oh. As soon as you head out on this mountain, it is total commitment for every single millimetre. If you can't make the judgment call 120 metres into a thousand kilometres to just be a little bit sensible, don't start the race. The Super Cheap Auto Bathurst 1000. Charge Look at that. to turn one. Okay, it's a great corner, second gear. The engine's right in its sweet spot. But remember, whilst you've got to carry mid corner speed and use that exit curb, you want to get to 100% throttle early, so don't get too greedy. Don't get caught up in the moment. Ooh. The moment is six hours later. Oh, is that true? Gotta have endurance. If I can offer you one free bit of advice, every single time you exit the pit lane, you grab your belts and you tighten them. And every other lap you think of it, you tighten them again. And after a pit stop, whether they've changed the brake pads or not, tattoo it under your eyelids. Pump the brake pedal. Because if they put the pads in and you forget, fuel on the road. Yeah, that's a good point. Oh, that's a good point, dude. Yeah, Griffin's Ben, right? It's one of the toughest on the circuit. If you don't get this one right, psychologically, you're gone for the rest of the lap. It's about 260 on the way in, remember? And you've got to knock off 130 k's an hour. But you've got to do that on the bumps on the way in. Oh, Let me give you a tip. When you're challenging for Griffin's Ben, either make the commitment or get the hell out of it. We're approaching the cutting. If I can't tell you anything simpler than this, there is one racing line up there. Whoa. Make sure you're on the tram tracks. There is no room to put your front right tyre even a foot outside of where it needs to be. Oh, the track is jammed. Oh, jeez. Traffic jam. Idiot, I'm sorry. Okay, real quick pause because I want to keep it going. This is absolutely good. This is really good so far. Wow. Uh, he is hyping this up. He is telling exactly, like, to hear uh, these actual advice and this detailed explanation of what to do at every single corner, every straight. Dude, this is awesome. Holy smokes. People suggested this. This is legit, dude. Such a crazy track. There really is nothing like it. I can solemnly Park, agree with you that. You need to hug the wall. Put the car right over there, hard on the wall. But be careful. Don't overuse the curb on the inside. It'll feed you into the wall. Oh. 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 Some bone jarring hits. This is a great part of the circuit where we go from going up the hill 
and we transform to go on down the hills. And no more beautiful sight than your revs in front of you. Bang, 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 bang. So we're out of Reed Park and now we're going to head down to that damn grate, right? It's a horrible, dirty drain up against the wall on the right-hand side of the circuit. Now, the problem here is you've got to commit really, really early. And you don't know, because nowhere in Australia does your front tyre and your car get more downward load than at the grate. You don't know way back then if your power steering is going to suffer it or it's going to give up and feed you into the fence. Oh, jeez. This guy is explaining this so well, man. So we've got through the grate. We're now heading through Sulman to McPhillamy Park. This is Mount Panorama. This is where you need to be thinking corners ahead of where you are. You can't see the roadway up ahead, but you're going to average from the cutting all the way to Skyline around 200 kilometres an hour. This ain't kids' play. Jeez. Oh, oh, big moment. That's fast in that area. So you've got through the top of the mountain, you've done the tough driver stuff. Now, throw that bit away, you're gonna be a ballerina. That's the view from Skyline. Go for broke time. You're gonna need to dance all the way down through the S's. The descent starts. Until you arrive at the dipper. Oh, and when you get to the dipper, yeah, sure, it looks really cool with two wheels hanging up in the air. You can't get the throttle on, can you, with two wheels in the air? No. Get the thing back on the deck. And the moment your rear tyre hits the ground is the same moment your right foot hits the firewall. Now, weave through My the concrete God. walls, but don't get too clever and try to get an inch away from them. There's nothing to be gained by doing that. Oh, but geez, that's horrible. My God, man. Dude, that car is... Forest Elbow. This is the second time, and the only other time in the lap, that you're not going to feel your front tide. You're going to come over the little crest there, downhill, and a ton and a half, she won't want to pull up. So this Jeez. is where you need to be really measured, slow it up, because your big drama here is going to be understeer. The car does not want to turn there. They're tagging, they're tagging. For goodness sake, be aware of what's going on around you. If there's one gap you can leave open for your competitors, it's right there. Think about this. You need to either position yourself out right, commit yourself to Conrod straight and your top speed, or you're going to need to defend because that is one of the great spots for attack. And if you're going to defend, there is nothing surer you are going to compromise your straight line speed. Mm. So if you're going to defend, you defend. You block him, you pull him up, so you get your foot to the gas first. This is wild. This is as fast as it gets. Three hundred. The drag race down Conrad straight, man. Now, I don't care what cars you've driven in your career or where you've driven them. There is nowhere else that you're going to go where a tonne and a half of race car at 300 kilometres an hour actually feels like a tonne and a half of race car at 300 kilometres an hour. <laughs> and you're approaching what is the fastest corner in Australian motorsport, the yeah. chase. You want a tough bit of roadway? That's it. You want to talk about commitment? Oh this is God. it. You come down here, and you'll see there's a metre of tarmac that's been laid down on the left-hand side of that for you to use every single millimetre of it. My God. For one man. lap, you do not go out there and use that. That is an almighty crash. That is insane. You're going to compromise your lap time and compromise your result. So you need to use that every lap. And why do you need to do that? You need to get the car around there. At 300 kilometres an hour, do not lift your right foot off the throttle until the car is squared up. And when it is, and only then, you put your foot on the brake and you push it so damn hard that you want to bend the brake pedal. He goes, he's in the <laughs> They run into each other. He's blocked our brake. He's going to redress. He's going to redress. Oh, jeez. Damn, these are good crashes. I, I mean, crashes aren't good, but you know what I mean. Spectator. That is, corner. wow. 
so you've crazy crap. Six kilometers of the 6.213 kilometer circuit done. Do not get it wrong here. This kid is going to win this thing today. Finish the job right now. Will Davidson might get this done. Nothing in it. He wins it by a car length. Oh my God, man. So that defines this mountain. That defines this race. Do you want to win it? Everyone wants to win it. You imagine the glory winning that race. If you can't first beat the mountain, that marathon. You will never win this race. Oh, 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 oh. oh yeah. Oh yeah. That was epic. I I don't know what else to tell you. That was epic. Dude, I'm over here in America wishing I could just hop on that right now, have it all closed off. <laughs> he makes me want to do a lap right now. Uh that was incredible. Uh the way they edited it, the way he spoke. He wow. That guy obviously uh has been around and knows uh, about that culture, about that track. Uh, we already know, I've already learned that Aussie Motorsport is, is amazing. It's very rich and very big, uh, considering the you know population of the country is not the biggest in the world, right? It's uh, a tenth of the size of the U.S., and I would argue their motorsports culture is as strong, at the very least, or more strong than ours. Uh, and we have 340 million people or something. So it, it's incredible, right? I don't know. It, it, it is every time I watch videos about Bathurst, they're always fun. Uh, they're always eventful. There's been so many legends I've raced there, so many awesome cars and uh, all that. But dude, it is all about the track. That guy is right. Picture all of that he just said is one lap. That's one lap. <laughs> now you got to do that like 160 plus more times. And you have dozens of other guys that want that race. They want the glory. They want the trophy. They want to finish that marathon on top. What a race. What a battle. It's not a race. It's a battle. It's an endurance. It's, an, it's a marathon. Your car has to survive. You have to survive. And you have to beat the other racers. It's crazy. It really is crazy. I cannot wait to watch it in October. Uh, you can bet your ass I'm going to live stream it. And uh, hopefully some of you guys can join me. If not, hopefully just we all enjoy that weekend for sure. Uh, it It is incredible. It really is. I, I could seriously sit here and just talk about it with my limited knowledge. But I, I've gained a lot. I've learned a lot from you guys and from these awesome videos. Uh, but still very limited, right, compared to someone that's lived there their whole life and, and grew up with this stuff. Uh, just from my limited experience and knowledge with Bathurst, uh, I can tell you, it is incredible. There is nothing like it. It's right in the title. There really is nothing like it. It's such an intimidating uh, yet beautiful track. It, it's fun. It's crazy. It's got a little bit of everything. And it's a marathon. It really is. That was an awesome video. Uh, this guy, Mark Larkham, wow. <laughs> Again, bravo. The way he narrated that and, and told us how to do a lap at uh, Mount Panorama was just incredible. I mean, it gets you hyped up. I want to go hop in a freaking race car right now and just tear around that track. It's awesome, dude. It gets you so hyped up. So that's it. This was a long time coming, guys. Please, let's talk in the comments. You guys are always so good about that. Let's talk in the comments. And I don't even care if this gets copyright claimed. Dude, this was, this, it's worth it. It was worth it. It's so freaking awesome. And uh, this will be linked in the description, of course. Also, check the description uh, for some other info, like a tip jar and P.O. box. And uh, I do appreciate you watching. Do appreciate you throwing a like on this video because this was epic, man. How do you not feel pumped up after that? I know I do. And uh, subscribe for more stuff like this. My name is Ian. You're watching IW Rocker, and I'll catch you later.